Hey y'all, welcome to Sunflower Tasha DIYs. I'm Tasha. I like to do arts, crafts, DIYs, recreations, bobble journaling, thrift, and trash lips on my channel. I hope you guys enjoy my video today. We are back with another collaboration and this is just our imagination. We do this once a month and it's the first Sunday of the month. And um, the host is Kathy Jo and Rustic and Lace. And from last um, imagination, they picked Craft Away with May's project. They're going to pick each person's project every month. And then they'll be the new feature for the next month. So May picked out glass jars, plastic lids, and the cutting mat. So I'm going to show you today what I'm going to be making with mine. And my um, glass jars are spice jars with the plastic lids that come with them. So I am taking some round balls. Now my round balls I actually get in um, a bowl filler from Menards. And it's usually around Christmas time when I find them. Um, but these ones are from last year. And I am using my um, three-in-one glue here to glue these down. I was going to do six of them today, but I actually only had five balls, so I couldn't do six. So we're only going to do five today. So after I get the balls glued down with my three-in-one tack and I let it sit for a while, I go around them also with a little bit of hot glue. And now I'm taking this yarn. It's a really chunky yarn, and I got it from Hobby Lobby. I think it's like $7.99 for the um, skein, and um, they have like a 40% off sometimes. That's when I like to go get my yarn, or when they have better deals than that as well. Sometimes you can get them. Um, and I'm just going to wrap my entire glass. I thought about stopping there, but I didn't like how it looked because I was going to leave the glass exposed. So I just kept going. I went and I liked that I kept going and did not leave the glass exposed. Um, I did have another idea though to leave the the um, glass ex exposed, which I will show you that idea later. Um, another time because I want to add lights inside of them but I want to try to find some skirting to make them skirts instead um, that way the glass and the skirt will kind of glow I don't know I just have this have this in my mind I don't know how it's gonna look or anything but then I cut off a little extra pieces of yarn and I have these little tiny balls that I picked up from Hobby Lobby you can get those as well when they have a good 40% off in their wood stuff. And I'm just using the same colors as the yarn for the arms here. And I will just glue those down like so. And then I will glue it to the front of her to make it look like she's holding something or she's praying, however you wish to do this. Um, but I'm also going to be using these little um, ornaments from Walmart. This was from last year's or the year before that. I don't remember. I have so many of those little Walmart minis. And I'm going to glue them to all of my um, little angels today. Now I have this decorative trim from Tiamu. And I'm going to be making their hair out of this today instead of doing yarn like I've done before. And these are so adorable how I do the hair. I just love it. And of course you gotta burn off all those wild fuzzies. <laughs> all right, and once I'm done with all of those, I'm going to show you that I take and I roll this into a little like flower looking shape, bun shape. Um, and I'm going to make two little bun shapes for each side. So I roll it onto itself and then I roll it one more time onto itself. And that's going to give me my cute little buns here. How adorable is that? Okay, so once I'm done with all of that, I have the plastic mat here. I have this little cutout piece um, that I created here. 
and I am going to use my Sharpie and I'm going to trace out the um, wings for my angels on to this um, Dollar Tree cutting mat. They used to have a clear plastic one, but I couldn't find that. All I could find was the white one. So this is going to work just fine. I'm actually liking this one better than the clear one, so that's a good thing. And once I got five done on there, I am going to go around each of these wings with my permanent um, black stays on ink. I really love this ink. It's um, and it's going to make it look like it's not a marker drawn on there, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> and um, I go around the entire wings. See the difference there? It just makes them pop. Now, I was going to glue this to the back, but I was like, I oh, really can't see the hot glue. So that's great. And then on this one needed just a little bit more hot glue, but I'll show you another one here. And it gets really hot. So um, pushing them down onto my mat was the best thing to do there. Ooh, that one, I was like, oh goodness, that's hot. <laughs> All right, and this is the last one, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. Look how adorable these are. So I have this ribbon that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. They have 50% off right now, so you will have to head over there and get you some of this. Um, it's $2.99 with 50% off. That's like almost Dollar Tree prices. Plus you get more on there than you would the Dollar Tree. And this is a little bit of a skinnier one instead of the thicker one like the Dollar Tree has. So that's why I got them. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed my cute little angels today. They are so adorable. They are so high end looking and they stand up by themselves. They don't have to be hung on a Christmas tree or anything like that. And the little hair with the little buns. <laughs> I'm just loving it. I think it's so cute. I'm having the time of my life making angels um, this Christmas. And I will link all of my angel videos down in the description box also so you can watch that as well. So you will have to tell me which angel is going to be your favorite one today. Is it going to be this beautiful white one that's holding the Noel sign? Super adorable. I could make a million of these if I had the time. I would so make as many as I could. <laughs> they are so adorable. And I have a feeling these are going to fly off the tabletops at craft fairs, you guys. You'll have to make you some. You'll have to tell me which color is going to be your favorite today. This is like a maroon red looking color. Um, I did have red too, but I, I kind of like the maroon one better because that is kind of like my favorite color with the black and white is the black one your favorite Ugh, they are just all so stinking adorable so so beautiful this is like a beige color she is super cute or like a gray excuse me this one's the gray all right, guys, don't forget to go check out everybody's channel in my description box and the playlist. I'd like to thank the host today for having me on the playlist and thank you to all my subscribers and all your continued support here on my channel. If you are new here, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. It really helps me grow on YouTube, and I appreciate all that you do when you do that. Also, if you hit that bell button, you can be notified every time I upload a new video. I want to say thank you again for watching Sunflower Tasha DIYs. You can follow me on Instagram on my personal account, or you can follow me on my gallery account. My personal is obviously my personal, and then my gallery is just where I post pictures of things that I have made on my YouTube channel. Once again, thank you so much for all that you do and all your continued support. Bye!